All right, this is another segment for what you can do at home with your Kestrel learning about ballistics. All right, so right now we're going to talk about wind. All right, so whether you're talking high angle, uh, shooting up or shooting down, or even winds, we're always looking at cosines. That's one of the biggest things that people mismanage in your wind call. All right, but you can teach yourself more about cosines by going to your Kestrel. All right, once you go to your Kessler, you can look under target, go down to IBEG. Now this is inclination angle for shooting uphill or shooting downhill, but a cosine is a cosine, so it really doesn't matter. It's just a percent of an angle. That's all that we're looking for. Every clock direction is 30 degrees. This is two o'clock, three o'clock, one o'clock. We'll call it 130 here. All right, so once I plug in 30 degrees into the target under IBEG, it tells me point eight six six this is 30 degrees so my cosine is 0.866 now we call this 90 degrees or 90 percent because this is 90 percent of the wind so instead of full value wind and whatever the wind's blowing if the wind's coming at this angle it's only 90 percent of the velocity that you're feeling that's going to have the effect of the bullet on the bullet so here is 45 degrees now a cosine for 45 is 0 0.707 but this is stuff that you can learn from the castrol again we're looking at, in the Kessel, it's showing us for inclination angle, but what it's doing, it's giving you still a percentage of an angle, all right? So, but you can learn cosine, you can learn the math on how to come up with it. So, this is 0 0.707, we call it 75%, all right? This was 90%, all right? So now we know that wind's coming from 130, if it's a 20 mile hour wind, we have about 14 to 15 mile hour that the bullet sees, all right? and will affect the flight path of the bullet by that 15 mile an hour, not 20 miles an hour. Here at one o'clock, this is 60 degrees. Our cosine is 0 0.50, so this is 50%. So if we have that 20 mile an hour wind, our bullet only cares about 10 mile an hour, all right? So that's what we're gonna see. That's gonna be the effect of the wind, that 20 mile an hour wind on the bullet is only gonna have the 10 mile an hour crosswind component. All right, so by using the Kestrel, and playing with it in your house, sitting in your big chair, learning about ballistics, you can actually learn cosines and the effects of them and memorize them as you go through.